So, what are we going to do? We need refined syn gas, we need ammonia, and we need uh, hydrogen chloride, and we need uh, organic solvent. Yay! Lots of things! Um, I technically have some methanol being produced right now, uh, and syn gas, so I could do this to get uh, refined syn gas. That much is fine. Uh, I could also do this. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Pay, pay very close attention. This says refined natural gas. We do not want refined natural gas. Uh, we could do this to get uh, refined syn gas, the, uh, the coal bed gas processing. Um, right. I was, I was also tempted by this, especially because, hey, look, it's biotic gasoline. Biotic gasoline exists uh, at this point. Okay. Ideas. <laughs> Ideas come to mind. Um, I wanted an excuse to do the actual, like, distillate type stuff. Um, the, uh, the pie, uh, oil processing stuff. Um, so this might give us an opportunity to do that. I just have to think what so if the condensed are going into refined syn gas in the end we have the medium apparently going into gasoline uh, at a cost of tin chromium alloy and the titanium tetrachloride yeah that's that's medium distillates what do i do with the remaining medium distillates or do i just put gasoline on the network prioritize the use of that for gasoline. Oh, hey, it's methanol. Well, then. Uh, yeah, so the, 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 the whole point of the bone meal was the, for the organic solvent, just, just for reference, like the, the, the point of the bone meal was organic solvent. Yeah, it's a, it's like what why 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 do you think I went through all this time and effort to set up the this bone meal? Part of it was uh for the organic solvent. But watch as I could do something completely different to get the organic solvent once we uh once we start going down all of these rabbit holes here. Uh so at the moment the medium distillates can only go into methanol and gasoline. That's fine. Uh, and this is to ultimately end up with some refined syn gas, right? <laughs> Via condensed distillates. So then what do I do with that methanol? Just more refined syn gas, I guess? Add, add in syn gas and we're good? Yeah. So that'll be that'll be that. What about uh, other uses of the condensed. Uh, aromatics? Eh. Nah. Oh, it could... Ha! Ah, yeah. It's... No. Oh yeah, saline. Pfft. Like, I I have not... I have thought of no worse way of getting saline than do, going through all of this BS to process high distillates. Um, low distillates. Oh, BT, BTX. Kerosene, coal gas, eh. Do I have a good use for kerosene outside of combustion? No. How about, uh... There are better, there are, there are, there are better ways. There are better ways than doing stuff with all this. 
the the BTX, by the way, it's useful for me if I was trying to set up some uh the rubber again, but eh. I think I'm just gonna toss all this out the window and do things easy. I'll take I'll take easy. What what is easy? Easy is spending activated carbon or something. I don't know. Just you know, this? Maybe? I really don't like this recipe. Just for reference, I, I really don't like the, the activated carbon uh, in the filter. I think that this should just be uh, filtration media. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a bit too expensive, especially since you have this filtration media coal bed gas into 300 refined from 200 coal bed. Like, like this is far more appealing to me than converting syngas into refined syngas with Car activated carbon because uh, activated carbon to filtration media is a uh, much better ratio you get more filtration media than you get activated carbon in generally generally that being said they did he did change filtration media as well so it's like oh great fantastic oh by the by the way there's the organic solvent recipe there's there's the organic solvent recipe, right there. That's that's the one. Uh, so you know how I said we're doing niobium? Well, actually, actually, uh, we're doing zinc. I guess. I guess we're actually doing zinc. Well, I have zinc. I need to make zinc chloride to make activated carbon. Uh, where do I want to do this? Uh, I can do something temporary, which, you know, temporary is inherently temporary. So I, I, I have, I have zinc, right? And I have, I have nickel. I've, as part of my main boss, I've got nickel here, zinc here, tapped. So, you know, may as well, may as well use what I got. And uh, go from there. Ah, glorious, glorious tanks full of blood. Where we're gonna, we're gonna. The blood shall flow. The blood shall flow. Here, more, more blood. Blood, blood shall flow. There's no purpose for that, by the way. Uh, there's, 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 there, there, there is no, no purpose to that. Here, fill, fill these fully, like move do all the brains all the brains and like all the all the guts why are brains stack size 50 and guts stack size 500 why are brains stack size 50 and guts stack size 500 was that a typo <laughs> probably a typo i don't know we shall see anyway um activated carbon Requires zinc chloride, which means I need chlorine. They're big brains. Yes, they are. I don't think I haven't noticed that the Arthurians give two brains by default. Alright, chlorine. What is going to be our method of getting chlorine? Uh, yes, methanol for refined exists that's that's another that that's the other way but i'm i'm going to be needing all these things anyway so even if i do things in alternative ways i it's like i i'm i'm going to need gasoline by the way at some point and i'm i'm going to need I, i'm going to need the gasoline because i'm going to need liquid nitrogen to get the uh circuit 2s like i'm i'm thinking circuit 2 chain needs gasoline for liquid nitrogen so it's like oh if i can make the gasoline now that's fine but uh we're just, like i can i can do things in these alternate ways but doing things in the more complex way now would mean i don't have to do them later some of these steps later it's just ugh choices it's choices Yes, circuit. I'm thinking about circuit twos. <laughs> I'm. I am thinking about circuit twos. I'm not making the circuit twos yet. I'm thinking about them. 
Uh, because in all actuality, after I set up Neobium, Molly, Rare Earth, and we're ready for Circuit 2s. Like, Molybdenum and Rare Earth Oxide Processing are the only other two new things that I need at that point. Yes, I can set up a better zinc and a better nickel processing setup, but once I have the Neobium and have access to the Neobium pipe and all that good stuff and the stuff that that unlocks, um, it's just Molly and Rare Earth as like the n things that I'm not currently doing that would uh, prevent me from starting to set up all the logistics stuff for the Circuit 2s slash Blue Science slash Pi Science. So, yeah, there's there's things. Things are available. Um, I'm gonna do Tholins for Chlorine. I mean, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna be boring. Uh, we're gonna do Tholin based Chlorine, and we're gonna make hydrogen chloride out of uh, out of Tholins. Uh, the issue here, lamps. I I can pull in the things and make the lamps locally. Uh, yeah, and we'll be good. And that'll be the hydrogen chloride done. Um. Uh, it's it's just because I don't have the the gas bladder yet. Like this, this, this is chlorine at scale in the long term. This is chlorine at scale in the long term. Gas bladders. Keep that keep that in mind. But it's not until Mark Three of this building, which I think is purple. Uh, at least. Where are these? Where are these guys? I'm going to start calling calling them phages because uh bad things would happen uh if I if I if I truncate PHAG. If I truncate their names to PHAG, bad things will happen. Or call them the knots. The knots, yes. The 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 naughties. Okay, Mark Three is just pie and blue, so that is fine. That's perfectly fine. It's the Mark Fours that's the purple science. So, at blue, basically at blue, I will have that chlorine, that better chlorine, uh, for these uh for the knots for the naughties. For the naughties. But blood to chlorine, uh, nah. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Uh, so, uh, that's hydrogen chloride. Um, yeah, I'm also like trying to. Did this change? Those numbers look really big. Uh, did that get modified a little bit? <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's 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 been a while since I looked at PPD. Uh, it's been just it's just been a little while since I looked at PPD, but. Uh, also, it's 11.30, so it's the halfway point of the stream, uh, which means it's time to take a bit of a break at the moment. And I've got, like, comments and stuff, and yeah. Things. Anyway, let's, uh, let's take a break here. I don't remember off the top of my head this being 500 to 10. And 400 to 10 on the chlorine. I don't. I don't remember this exactly, but eh, it's been a while. I know. I know it's taking these things at the moment now, but I don't know if this has been modified recently. It's it's this that's the 
bug, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's it's this that's the uh that's the not good thing. But yeah, I just I don't remember off the top of my head. Anyway, let's let's take a break. It was almost free. Yeah, not anymore. It probably should be looked at and adjusted uh on the ammonia front. Uh, rebalanced because ammonia is now significantly more difficult to get but anyway that can be a discussion for after our break uh i'll be back in a few minutes get up stretch your legs do all of the wonderful things that nature forces us to do uh, on occasion and uh yeah we'll, we'll be back very soon and i have returned welcome back uh so there is a proper chemical reaction recipe for uh ammonia for reference uh, ammonia absolutely has a nitrogen and hydrogen recipe. Somewhere. Here. Look, it's... It's... It's ammonia. It's... It's, it's ammonia. Nitrogen plus hydrogen. <laughs> it ex It exists. Already, so... We don't we don't have to worry about this being a thing. My only uh and it's it's at it's proper ratio. No, it's no, it's not at proper ratio. Just for reference, uh, hydrogen is H two, nitrogen is N two. So there's no chance in anything. That a 100 nitrogen and a 100 and a 300 hydrogen would give you a 100 ammonia. This would give you a 200 ammonia. 200 ammonia. For reference, <laughs> uh, that'd be 200. That'd be 200, not uh, not 100. Yes, lo losses, losses of half of your inputs. Yes, let's let's lose half of what we put in. Ah, oh, boy. Just, you know. My my specialty wasn't chemistry, but... I know enough. Okay. Let's, let's give things a good, solid think here. We need to set up something. What are we going to work on immediately, right now? Let's look at our options on the methanol. Uh, so we have organic solvent olefins. We have organic solvent ol olefins. This is what I did on the on the Rails playthrough. So, yeah, I did this in the on the rails playthrough. What I did with the olefins was I made it with uh, next lit hydrogen CO two, a very convenient recipe, by the way. If you have a consistent supply of uh, next lit and methanol, I forget what I what did I do with the methanol? I think it was this uh, tin chromium natural gas hot air is what I did with this at scale. So, yeah, this was what uh, I had done then. And that was how I was getting the refined syngas in the end uh, via this recipe on the refined syngas. Now, the organic solvent and ammonia Here's the thing with the organic solvent and ammonia. This recipe exists. Copper zinc probably the easiest. Yes, it is the easiest. And that's why I'm doing it for my rubber production right now. For, for, for reference, my current rubber production does the methanol with copper zinc. My, my current rubber setup on the uh, 
for the whatever this is, styrene, for the styrene processing, has ammonia through that recipe. What what building is this? This is the methanol reactor. This is the methanol reactor. Uh, and then this is the multipurpose cracker, and then these these are the reformers, and yeah, this is this is base high sweet stuff. Um so this is an option. This would require Tholans. <laughs> uh Tholans. Uh, for the acetone, because yeah, uh, we're not doing phosphoric. We're not. We're not. We're not going to spend phosphoric acid on cumene for acetone at this point. Let, uh, slash phenol at this point. I will need phenol, uh, but we'll get phenol out of the coal process uh, a little bit later. Maybe. Maybe we'll do lignin and no f. F that. Just no. Uh, sporo. Oh, another use of sporo pollen in it. Mycology Mark Three. Interesting option, but uh, yeah, I I I do want to do this cumene. This cumene, I would much rather do. I would much rather do this than spend phosphoric. This is a pretty decent recipe. This is this is actually pretty decent if you're going to want to do non tholin based acetone. But for now, tholins all the way. So, what does this not use? What does this process not use? Bone meal. So, yeah, we've 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 done all this uh, setup of bone meal, and I think in the end I'm just going to throw in acetone with uh, syngas to do organic solvent ammonia, because well, it's ammonia without urea at this point. It's ammonia without urea, and hey, there's there's tholin ammonia, which I think in the current state of the game. This is actually really tempting at this point. Um, yeah, it's it's actually really tempting at this point. At at, at least until we get uh, this, the the gas bladder ammonia. That will be that will be good. The uh, the the ammonia here, the nitrogen hydrogen ammonia. As as much as I'm uh, m joking about the. Uh, that and the N two H two giving you only a hundred ammonia at the end. Um, this is actually you know decent enough uh, because both both of these are free, just power. Both of these are just power, uh, and you can make as much ammonia as you want doing this process. Although it is a little, it is a little slow. It is a it is a little slow. It's uh, ten units per second uh, per can plant. Just a, just a little bit slow. Um, and a, a lot of destructive distillation columns for the nitrogen and uh, electrolyzers for the hydrogen. It's still viable. It's still a viable alternative to urea. Which, uh, yeah, only has two methods these days. Uh, and liquid manure from manure, which, yeah, like, there's so many recipes for manure a very small fraction of which are actually uh going to give, are going to be giving us enough to be worth it so yeah that uh that i think will be the plan ish going forward um so this is going to be a lot of sin gas this is going to be um Tholin based acetone, potentially tholin based ammonia for extra ammonia because the process here is going to require a lot more ammonia. Uh, and then uh, methanol and syngas into refined syngas. And that'll be the, the three big uh, things outside of the hydrogen chloride, which again, chlorine, 
tholins, hydrogen is free. Uh, that would just leave lamps. Um, and that's going to require a rather large setup uh, for bringing in trains. We'll need to bring in copper, glass, iron uh, for all that. Hey, it's it's moving. And right, how many of these do we have saved up now? 205. Not enough. Not enough. Um, right. Alright, so let's define where we're going to be uh, to set this up. Uh, we need a source of Neo. Of course, in the alternative, we could just choose not to mine Neobium. Here's a here's a here's a neo patch. We could just choose not to mine neobium and get it out of the uh, the tar processing into neobium and borax ore, but that's like a huge drain on resources, and the output is so low. It is excruciatingly low. Uh, but anyway, let's let's grab some mines. Uh, I'm not going to target a 15 per second output on the on this neobium. This is oh right, and it's also it's also drill heads. It's also drill heads. So I don't have chromium on my network yet. Shall we throw everything out the window and do chromium instead? I think we're just going to throw everything out the window and do chromium instead. <laughs> Frankly. Uh Yeah, we're we're going to we're going to throw everything out the window uh for the moment <laughs> and uh and set up chromium to get chromium onto my train network and then we will worry about neobium <laughs> uh because neobium requires drill heads and I uh, you know like forgot <laughs> ish you know, rather important point there. Not only is not only is neobium uh, refined sin gas. Ten minutes later, now we're making molybdenum. Uh, no, actually, we won't. We won't be doing molybdenum. Although, although you you say that, Molly is just drill heads, right? Molly is just drill heads. So you you just you just you just throw the drill heads at the molly mines. Speaking of the molly mines, have I set up the molly mines on my on my mall yet? I don't specifically remember putting molly mines. Molly mines? I have not put molly mines. Do molly mines have mark levels? No, it's it's here. This this is the molly mines. Oh, right. I wouldn't be able to make them anyway because I don't. <laughs> I don't have the neobium iron alloy, and I won't for a while. So we need, uh, we need, we need Neobium first. We need Neobium first before we can even think of doing the Molly Mines. Because we need that alloy. We need that glorious alloy. Okay. Uh, Mining Chills would be nice. grab, uh, I don't know, a few. Uh, a few mining drills, a, uh, few, uh, I'll, I'll need belt. Yeah, belt is, belt is nice. Um. Clear some of that from the inventory. Uh, and then, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, what is it? Coal gas, sin gas, something, sin gas, to mine. So, uh, 
yeah, uh, Syngas to mine, something, something along, something along those lines. That might be enough. Yeah, ne like Neobium is like the big, the big next step. The problem is getting there. That's 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 the thing with the Neobium is that that is the big next step. And requires stuff and things. Oh, hey, it's brains, brains, glorious brains and guts and blood. Uh, yeah, stuff for you. Fifteen uh, gasifiers and stuff and things. Yes, and filters, filters. Wherefore art thou, filters? Filters. What else? Uh, right, uh, electrolyzers. Electros. And... I think I have everything else. Pressure pumps. Pumps! These. Uh, you can get Neobium ore out of uh, this. This is Tar to Borax Neo. Tar to Borax Neo. This is the earliest thing that you can do if you don't want to actually mine. The Neobium. Uh, that's what I briefly discussed before. We'll be able to get something through this process called phyto mining uh, a little bit later. Uh, this is a brand new process added with Pi Alien Life called uh, phyto mining. Uh, basically, you you grow things. Looks like in this case it'll be guar for making Neobium. Uh, so you'll grow guar. Process the seeds, add tailings to get neobium enriched biomass. To get neobium enriched biomass. And it looks like this process is actually done in the Wargum plantation. This will give you a source of wastewater for all of the phyto mining process. A source of wastewater for free urea. Wastewater for urea. And then you get the biomass that you can process into the actual ore by adding steam. It's a neat, cool process, and I want to uh, explore it at scale uh, at some point. Because it seems like a very, very powerful prospect. Versus uh, the alternative processes. It seems, it seems good on paper by comparison to... Uh, ground boring and to the uh thingy yes thingy being being so very specific today to the uh atomizer definitely a lot better than atomizer stuff that is also new and added in this okay so do i want to tap this here or this here Uh, can I fit whatever 300 on this? Probably not. <laughs> I can I can definitely fit 300 on this. Will I ever touch this tin? Likely no. So, uh... Yeah, just, you know, die. Rock hole does not exist. 
That being said, wasn't that the latest release? Was it isn't that a thing now? Like right now? No more uh no more coal outside of starting area, at least as an option. Yes, we are now doing chromium. We are now officially doing chromium. Also You are in my way. All of you. All all of all of all of you. Yeah. You're all in my way. Crude can stay. Crude is good boy. Tar is excellent. Okay. Um Yeah. I guess I don't need to do a uh a train in on the tar. I will need to pick up a uh, tar extractor, though. Get all this crap off of the uh, patch. Okay, chromium. Yeah, I think this could fit 300. I think this can fit 300. Yeah. We shall see how not basic slash basic we will go with this. Go, my nanobot minions. Go! Be free! I understand how overkill this is, but we're doing it anyway. 